doing, huh? When did I say you could leave, pup? Last I checked. I didn't say you were allowed out of my arms yet. So stay put. I need to tell you something important anyway. So, I think I should tell you some rules while you're staying here. Don't worry. I won't lecture you about them. They are very simple. Stop your useless squirming. Listen to me first, then I'll let go of you. Or maybe we can stay here all day long. And I'm willing to bet you'll love being cuddled close to me for such a long time. That's what I thought. Now, here's rule one. No hurting my pack members, unless it's self-defense. And if you try to hurt any as an attempt to get kicked out, I'll have you know now that I was serious last night. I meant what I said, and I'm not taking it back. You're not leaving me. I will keep you close to me at all times, and you will never get kicked out. I won't allow you to leave my side unless I have a duty to perform, and if that were to happen, You'll be taken here, so I can make sure I know where you are. I hate the thought of not knowing you are for even a moment. You don't seem to be pleased with that thought. Well, <laughs> that doesn't matter. It's a rule, and you are going to follow it. Or else... myself clear that I will not let you out of my arms until I'm done telling you the rules. So stop making this harder than it needs to be. That's a good boy. Now, rule two. Never run out of my territory. For now, I've set the boundary of where you can go to be within this forest. But if I catch you running out of these woods to escape, I will lower that boundary to be smaller, and smaller, and smaller. And I will do so until it gets to the point where you will never leave my side. So think before you try anything, pup. I'll have you know that my pack has eyes everywhere. And a human in this forest, or forest is easy to spot for us. So in the end, you won't have much luck trying to escape. Because I won't allow it. Finally, rule three. You will listen to every order I tell you. And... You have proven to be very rebellious so far. So here's my first warning. You may be my little pup. However, I will not hesitate to punish you for disobeying my orders. <clears throat> sure, I'll treat you as my cute little human. But in the end, I am still your alpha, and that's never going to change. Okay, you can.
can go now. But don't take too long. I'm feeling very needy, and I need someone to hold. But now that you're here, you're the only one I'll be holding close to me. Such an adorable little boy. So fragile. So delicate. I must protect him. Nothing else can touch my little pup. He's mine. All mine. And no one else's. He belongs to me. And it will stay that way, no matter what. There we go. <laughs> Sorry, but if you're going to stay here with smell like me. That way every other werewolf in this pack knows that you are mine. And that means they will leave you alone. <laughs> if you come into contact with another wolf in this pack, I'd better be there. And trust me when I say I get jealous. Very jealous. I noticed something, pup. I'm willing to bet you don't even know my name, do you? That's all right. My name is Blitz. Your Alpha. Your Guardian. Your Eternal. Whether you like it or not, and I will not tolerate any misbehavior. So be a good boy and do as you're told. I suppose I have to get to my office, and you're going to keep me company. And that's the way it's going to be from now on. You will always be by my side as I maintain this pack. You'll be locked in, too, so there'll be no escape from me. Not that I'd let you out of my hold, anyway. <clears throat> Do I have to tell you again that I'm not letting you go? Because I will tell you as many times as I need. I love you, and that's never going to change no matter how many times you anger me. Come on. I have alpha duties to do, and I can't have you running around like a mouse trying to escape a trap. Just sit in my lap on this chair. Get used to this, love, because we're going to be staying like this for a while. Shivering again? I bet you're still scared. You'll get used to it. Eventually. If not, I can wait. It's not like you have a choice anyway. I already told you, you are not going back to that city. You are not going to leave my territory. You are not leaving these woods, and you will not leave me. You're mine. Mine, 
and only mine. No one in that dang city cares about you. They all just walk by and do nothing but stare at you in disgust. They think you're nothing. They never cared about you. But I do. So stop asking because I've already made it clear. I own you. You'll be staying with me forever. No exceptions. I'm sorry, pup. Please don't cry. I know this is a lot to take in, but I'm only doing this to keep you safe. You could have died from starvation or worse in that city. But I assure you, if you are a good little boy, I'll be here to protect you. Pup, you're the best thing that's happened to me. As long as I'm here, I will keep you safe, no matter what. You're my mate, my lover, my precious, adorable little boy, and I will make sure it stays that way. You will love me back at some point, and I'm going to keep you close to me every day until that happens. Now, cuddle with Just relax and let me take care of you. I love you so much, pup. And I always will. Now, let's make you something to eat. I can hear that stomach of yours growling. 